All right, I get a lot of questions um, from students when calculating the, the volume. And remember, the volume is how much space something you know, takes up, right? And how much is you know, kind of inside of my figure. So I have a three-dimensional cylinder right here. You can think of it like a, uh, a can of you know, canned, canned food, right? That's a cylinder. Actually, I have some. Right, perfect. Gotta love food drives. So we have canned corn. This is a great idea of a cylinder. You can see it's like kind of like this, right? And you can kind of see what it looked like, something like that, right? So this is a good cylinder. So the volume is everything that's gonna be on this inside, right? Surface area would be like all the metal it takes to make this. But the surf or the volume is gonna be like all the contents in there. So to find the volume, one thing we need to do is we need to find at least the area, right? Because remember, area is very similar. Area is a two-dimensional figure, and it's all the space that a two-dimensional figure takes up. So what I need to do is I need to find the area of something. Well, we have a circle here, and the reason why I'm going to want to take the area of the circle is what we're going to do is we're going to try to take the area of the circle, and we're just going to keep on multiplying it, okay? So let's find the area first of the circle. And what I'll do is, let's do, so remember area equals pi r squared. So the area here is going to be pi times three squared, area equals nine pi, right? So what I can say is this disc area is nine pi, right? Now, what is like the depth of that, right? We know that's a two dimensional figure, but we're kind of talking about a three-dimensional figure now. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of say, well, let's kind of make this a three-dimensional figure, and this has a distance of one. Because because if you did nine pi times one, this whole little, kind of think of it as like a slice, right? Kind of like sliced bread, or uh, this could be like salami or something like that, right? You're slicing this off. Nine pi times one is going to give you nine pi, okay? Well, look what happens is, if you can see is, for volume of a cylinder, that is pi r squared times height. Well, why is it times height? Well, because what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by how many slices we have. So height, and I chose this problem for a specific reason. What is the height? Some of you might say, well, the height is 15, or the height is 6, or the height is 8. Well, you got to think of the height as a cylinder. I changed this. I kind of have this sitting in a different way. But if I was to, when you're calculating the height, you always want to calculate it from base to base. So if I was to lay this, if I was to lay my cylinder in that formation, I would notice that the height is going to be 8. This 15 is pretty much an irregular number. I just kind of threw up there to confuse you. Sorry. And the 6 is the diameter, right? The 6 is your distance from there to there. So that's not going to be your height. That's just going to be you know, the width or the diameter, really. So now what happens is, if I, this is 1, right? We can do this a couple times. That would be a distance of 1. And so how many slices can I get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm kind of making these big slices, but you're, they're supposed to be even. Uh, what you guys can notice is, if I do this, 1, 2, what I do is if I do this eight times, what I'm doing is I'm keep on, I'm adding nine pi. For every slice, I'm adding nine pi. Well, I do this a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, which again is my height. So that's why I multiply by whatever my area of my base is times your height. So whenever um, you're dealing with cylinders, rectangle, uh, rectangular prisms, what you're gonna do is, or um, even a triangular prisms, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the area of the base and multiply it by the height. So therefore, this is going to be volume equals nine pi times my height, which is eight. So volume equals 72 times pi. So that is how you find the area, or I'm sorry, the volume of a uh, cylindrical prism, cylinder, right? A prism, yeah.